you want to create apps that run on any device, I'm going to show you how to create a Flutter app that runs on Android, iOS, desktop and even web. First you want to install Flutter, so you head to flutter.dev. Click on the top right and get started. And then I select my current platform which is Windows. You can also run it on macOS or Linux. Here are some requirements. Uh, with Windows 10 you don't need to install the PowerShell, but you need to install um, Git unless you already have it. So let's go to Git for Windows. I select the 64-bit executable for all the systems. You can also choose the 32-bit one. And now just follow the installation process. You don't need to change anything from the defaults. All right, let's get back to the Flutter side. We can get the Flutter SDK. I would suggest to get um, it via Git. You have to select a directory where you want to install it in. There are some exceptions. Um, you shouldn't install it under C program files or any folder that requires elevated privileges. And also the folder should not contain a um, special character or space. Let's just create a new folder on C. And now you can click on this copy button. And now we can open up a terminal. Um, you can do that by clicking on the navigation bar in the explorer and type cmd, enter, and then the console window opens up. And then you can paste via ctrlv or right click. And then the command executes already and installs Flutter. Now Flutter is installed, but we cannot use the command here because we have to add it to the system environment variables first. And you can do that by opening up the search and search for environment variables. Here you go. I select the, for the user account. Then open up this path variable. Click on edit. I need to go to the Flutter folder and go to the bin directory. So now I'm in the bin directory. I can select this navigation bar on top here. Copy it. And click on new and paste it here in the environment window. Now I need to save it. Let's go to a directory where we store our applications and open up the terminal here. Now we can type Flutter and it does something different. So now it's installing some required dependencies, installing the SDK. Now you should run Flutter Doctor. You should run this command before using Flutter because it checks all required dependencies. Now Flutter Doctor has detected some missing dependencies, such as Android Toolchain, which is for Android development, and Visual Studio, which is for Windows desktop development. It also detects Chrome, which is installed and is used for web development. So now we can start to build our first web app. The app we create now can afterwards also be used for other platforms, such as Android or iOS. We need to type the command Flutter create and then the app name, my first app. Let's call it like that. To see and edit the app's code, we want to have an editor. It also helps us building and running the application. My favorite editor is Visual Studio Code, but you can also use other editors such as Android Studio Editor. Then you can open up the terminal and make sure that Chrome is installed, which is required for running the web app. So for web, you type flutter run minus D and then Chrome. And there we go, that's our first web app. This layout serves as a basis for your application. It is basically a counter app that increments the counter by clicking the plus button. And this template is automatically created. This exact same app with the same code base can also be run on desktop or also Android or iOS. So to run it on desktop, we can check Flutter Doctor again if we have the required dependencies. As we see here, um, Visual Studio is required for development on Windows. We can now install the Visual Studio that is required. We can use the community version of it. And we need to install the desktop development with C++. So it's this selection here. After we are done installing, we can run Flutter Doctor again. It has detected Visual Studio and now we can run the same app as a desktop application with Flutter Run minus D Windows. 
So now we have the same application that we had on the web, now on Windows as a Windows desktop application. So now I will show you how to run it on Android. For that we need the Android tool chain. And it actually says what we need to install. We need to install Android Studio from this link. So here again you can just go through all the installation steps. Okay, here are some licenses that we need to scroll through and accept. Next thing we want to do for Android development is to select the virtual device manager to create a virtual device. So it's basically an emulator that emulates an Android device, um, which is required for running and debugging the app. So let's select the phone here. I can just select any device I would like to use. Let's, let's select the Pixel 2. Now we need to download an Android version. We need to click on download here. It also says that um, the Android emulator hypervisor is not, the driver is not installed. And we need to also install that. So this installation failed. So let's have a look at the linked page. As you can see here, um, the Hyper-V must be disabled on the system. And the CPU virtualization extension has to be enabled in the BIOS. So to quickly check if Hyper-V is enabled in the system, we can go to Windows features. Turn Windows features on and off. And here there's Hyper-V and it's actually disabled already. We need to check the other step. The CPU virtualization has to be enabled in the BIOS. So it's a different one for AMD and Intel. For AMD it is called SVM and for Intel it's called VT-D. So in this case um, it's an AMD system and it was disabled. So here is how it looks like. So now after changing the BIOS setting to enabled, we can try it again. So let's start Android Studio, start the virtual device manager and click on the play button to start the virtual device. Now that the virtual device works, we can run the app for Android. We open up our editor again in the terminal and then we type flutter run. And here we have the same application on Android. So this is how you install Flutter and run your first app on multiple platforms. Make sure to subscribe to don't miss out on more Flutter and tech videos. See you in the next one.